Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy Monday afternoon. My name is Faith Storms. I am a licensed social worker, therapist with a passion for energy healing and EFT tapping and human design. Today, the topic is be in the moment for a moment. And this is my topic because if you are a busy brain person, as I am, if you have an inhuman design, that means you have a defined head and Ajna center at the top of your design, you are going to feel under a lot of pressure, under like mental pressure, and your brain is going to be going, going, going. When we feel this mental pressure, we want to figure things out. We want to understand things. We tend to be big researchers and, and information people. And that is what it is. Because if you are a busy brain person, then that's what your brain does. Here's the thing. We need to, it would be in our benefit to learn to interact with our mind in a little different way. Now, as a busy brain person, you will not be able to do, have like, they, they, in the meditation field, they talk about no mind meditation, where you are not thinking thoughts. Now, if you are a busy brain person as I am, that's not possible. What is possible is to practice slowing down. We can slow down. We can't stop our thoughts. We can slow them and we can have moments of no thought. We can have moments of mental peace. Here's the key, in my opinion. We have to understand that we're going to go in and out of intense thought and that this is normal for us. This is natural. This happens. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. It's okay to think things. We don't want that running our lives, and I'll get into more of that when I do a video on the human design and the, the head and the Ajna centers. But just for the purpose of this video, just for today, the takeaway I'd like you to have is even if you feel a lot of like mental pressure of, I need to figure things out, I need to know things, understand that's just how your mind, that's how the mind works. There's nothing wrong with you that you're thinking this and feeling this pressure. However, it does not serve you to try to make choices out of that pressure. That is not going to work. Our choices are not to be made from our mind. They're to be made from the rest of our energy system. For most people, that's kind of a gut thing, an emotional thing, and I'll talk about that in some more of the human design videos. But for today, I encourage you to think about being in the moment even if it's just for a moment. And I have been practicing this lately because I've recently learned that a new aspect of my human design, that I have a lot of future oriented energy and it's a design thing, which explains so much to me. Like it's another layer. I'm always like in the future, which create, which can create anxiety. And but learning this, I was like, okay, like this is just the way my design works. So what I've been doing is I've been giving myself permission to be in the future because I'm going to be like, this is happening. But then gently pull myself back to now, do what I need to do now. And then my mind goes into the future and I just gently pull back to now. So I've really been practicing this idea of being here now for a moment. For a few moments, <laughs> for a few minutes. And then if I wander to the future, so be it. I'm not judging myself for it. I'm not making myself wrong. I'm not beating myself up. I'm like, okay, yep, there goes my brain. Like, that's what it does. <sighs> but what, <clears throat> what do I need to do right now? So just gently pull back to the present. Be in the present for a little bit. Do what you need to do. And then if your brain wanders future, so be it. So let's do a little tapping on self-acceptance. Like if you recognize, oh, wow, maybe I have this busy brain. Maybe I've got this mental pressure. 
we can have judgment about that. We can have judgment about everything. And it doesn't serve us to judge ourselves. So let's tap on that. Okay, so cross over to the sore spots. So even though I have judgment about myself and how my brain works and how it operates and maybe how it jumps to the future, I accept myself. Even though I have some judgment about how my brain works and that it jumps to the future and that I tend to worry, I accept myself. Even though I have some judgment about how my brain works and I may jump to the future, I accept myself. So even though I may have some judgment about my brain, about my mind, about how it works, I'm choosing to release some of that judgment. Maybe all of it, but at least some of it. I'm choosing to release the judgment, even though I have judgment about how my mind works, how my thoughts work, the mental pressure I'm under. I choose to begin to release this judgment, this worry, this fear about my brain, about what's going on, all the roots and origins, everything it does to me, everything it does for me wherever it's coming from. If it's my ancestors, I release that. If it's some present conditioning, I release that. If it's who I live with, who I'm around, I release the pressure they have on me. All the roots and origins for, all, for me and all the parts of me. So even though I have judgment about my mind, I'm choosing to release this today. Tapping points, eyebrows, side of your eye. Under your eye, nose and chin, <sighs> nice sighing breath, <laughs> collarbone. I usually sigh when I get about there. Under your armpits, top of the head, good girl, good girl. I like to say that too. <laughs> Tap on your gamut spot, hand on your heart while you close your eyes. Open your eyes, look hard down right, hard down left. Circle your eyes in one direction, circle them in the other. Hum five seconds of a song. Happy, I, I hum happy birthday. <laughs> Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Hum again. <laughs> Tapping points. Eyebrows, side of your eye, under your eye. Nose and chin. Collarbone. Under your armpits. Top of the head. Take a breath through your body. I feel more relaxed. A little less judgment. So practice that today. Practice releasing some of the judgment, especially about your mind, how your thoughts work. And if this was useful to you, please comment below what you're going to do to release some judgment for yourself today or how the tapping helped you release some judgment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions or other things, please feel free to contact me. Have a beautiful day.